I am Anil Kumar. We are trying to understand what is combination of functions. But before getting in there, we have a few simple examples to work with. And I hope uh, these simple examples help you to understand how combination of functions work. The example is, if sum of two numbers is 7 and their product is 25, find the sum of squares of their reciprocal. So we are given two numbers. We say let the numbers be a and b right we had a similar example in another video also right so we are taking very very simple cases this is step by step approach to understand something which is kind of complicated right so let the numbers p and b we say if sum of two numbers is 7 and their product is 25 that means a plus b is given to us as 7 and a times b is given to us as 25 find the sum of squares of their reciprocals. What does that mean? Sum of squares of their reciprocals. That means we have to add squares of their reciprocals. That means 1 over a square plus 1 over b square. This is what we need to find. I hope you understand now, right? So from the given information, we have to find another information by combining what is given to us. Do you see? So that is combination of things related or given to us and from them we are trying to find a new thing that is what we will be exploring combination of functions but at present we'll focus on just the numbers and then move on to the language of functions okay i hope that helps now how do we do this so what we will do in this case is we'll simplify this expression and we can write this as 1 over a square plus 1 over b square could be written as their denominator is a square b square and we get b square plus a square in the numerator right now i can write uh, a b whole square in the denominator we know what product is so we we know this value how do i simplify this now this i can write this as a plus b whole square now, a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. But we need only a square plus b square, right? So, if I do minus 2ab, then what? Then I get exactly what it was. You get the idea, right? So, this is a very simple technique, but very critical to understand. Once you understand, it's going to help you in this chapter of combination of functions. And that's kind of getting started, right? So, we could write b square plus a square as this, right? First, let me write this as a square plus b square, rearrange, okay, and a square b square. Now, it comes, right? Now, I know what a plus b is. It is 7. So, I'll write this as 7 square minus 2 times product is 25 divided by 25 square. You get the idea, right? So, now we can have 49 minus 2 times, which is 50, divided by 25 square which is 625 right or we can say just minus 1 over 625 and therefore we know sum of the squares of the reciprocal is equals to minus 1 over 625 correct okay? so so i hope you understand and appreciate how we can combine the given information to get the new new information right so so that is what we are going to do in combination of function also so in combination of functions we will explore if two functions are given to us then how to find their sum their product their difference or their quotient so we'll explore that in the coming videos i hope that helps thank you